Welcome back. Today I will be teaching you how to dry cut a square bob with maximum texture and movement. Perfect for wavy, curly and textured hair types and especially for clients who love that lived in movement. We start the haircut sectioning from the apex zone down through to the mastoid process. I'm using the length in the front of my fringe area as my front corner and guide for my whole haircut. Zoning from the apex to the mastoid is a great trick to help maintain the corners in the back of your square line and it also helps to push and distribute more hair into the side zones of our haircut. When dry cutting, it's important to use your larger combs with rounded ends. The larger combs will create a lot less tension and make it easier to control the hair while taking larger sections. I'm also using a seven inch shear or scissors to cut as I will be cutting much larger sections throughout a dry cut haircut. I'm starting the haircut in the front side zone as I'm using the length of the fringe as my guide working back to the back corner. I'm taking a one to one and a half inch thick section. I'm now sitting at eye level so I can clearly see my line and I'm point cutting back towards the back corner. and simply coming back through with the club cutting method to clean the line. You can also use between your fingers to stretch out any longer pieces you have missed. Before moving on, it's important to check your line before moving to the next section. We continue the haircut, taking large one, to one and a half inch sections, directing the hair into natural fall and simply club cutting and point cutting to the line, allowing for maximum texture and natural movement. Once we complete this section, we repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. Dry cutting is an incredible tool when you're wanting to work with curly, wavy or textured hair or to create more weightless texture in your haircuts. Cutting dry allows for hair to be cut in its natural fall, accommodating for growth patterns throughout the whole head shape and haircut. You'll notice how expansive and big this haircut will become compared to stretching the hair through a wet precision haircut. With dry cutting, we still cut with structure and precision like precision cutting. However, instead of avoiding graduation in our lines, we want to create more graduation, allowing the shape to expand. Hence why we take larger sections and we use bigger scissors to create more graduation and movement in our shape. Once we complete both front zones, we check our balance before moving to the back zone of our haircut. You will notice the back zone is a lot smaller because we've sectioned to the mastoid process on both sides. We simply use cor the corners in both sides and point cut our line. This is one of the best techniques to always maintain your back square corners and also to distribute and more evenly push hair into the front side zones. We continue the exact same process as the front side zones, point cutting our line 
and using a club cutting technique to clean our line. Using low and no tension and sometimes not even combing through to place the hair. It's really important when cutting a line to have your eye and body position right on top of your line. Trust me, your curly and wavy textured hair clients or your clients who li love a lived in disheveled beachy bob will love you for this haircut. The added bonus is it takes around 10 to 15 minutes to cut this on the salon floor. When dry cutting, we want our clients to arrive with pre-washed hair and their hair texture to be in their natural wave or curl. I'm now styling and finishing the haircut with sea salt spray and diffusing to enhance the lived in wavy texture on this hair mannequin. If you value my work, please smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate all the support and the growth of my channel this year. And I'm really looking forward to next year where I'm gonna up my game with teaching dry cutting and a lot more precision cutting. So stay tuned. I'm now using a small drop of serum for the shake out. This process styles curly textured hair without adding frizz or fluff to the overall result. This was the previous dry cut square layered haircut. And this is your dry cut square bob haircut. Super cute, big, bouncy, disheveled, definitely rocks that lived in energy. If you like this haircut, you should subscribe and you should watch this tutorial next.